Squish got the cuties in a cup Pokemon! I've got the cuties in a cup Pokemon! Anyway, I'm back with a little cup battle, and my opponent is Speed Boost, who I met through the Smog on Wi Fi Battle Finder. I'm gonna lead off with Neela. My magic bounce not to as he leads off with his uh, Dwebble. He doesn't realize that magic bounce uh, is going to reflect back his taunt, which really sucks for him, because it's going to allow me to get off both of my screens. And so I've got one screen up now, uh, I'm gonna get the other screen. Uh, so now, uh, really nothing else that Neela can do. I'm gonna go ahead and U-turn out of there because it's my only attacking move on my Natu. And it's gonna hit his Solosis fairly hard. I'm predicting him to be a Trick Room Setter Upper. Little Cup Trick Room is actually fairly badass. It's at least quite interesting. Um, so yeah, he's gonna get scared out by my Angler. I'm gonna go ahead and just go for the T-Ball thing and do a good amount of damage to anyone. Uh, Cottony, I've actually never gone up against Cottony before. I didn't realize how damn annoying they are well, with the Encore and whatnot. So obviously I'm going to have to switch out. And then I realized, hey, my Natu is actually probably a pretty good counter considering anything he wants to do to me is just going to get magic bounced right back. Um, again, my opponent is a little bit new to the concept of magic bounce, uh, and that kind of sucks. Uh, gotta, I've got nothing to do with the, the attacking sense, though, except for you turn out. So at least that's going to break his sub. But I am going to be able to send Angler back out, and um, my Reflect wears off. He's going to go for the Leech Seed. He gets a bit of hacks and that the Leech Seed misses. I'm going to go ahead and Ice Beam his Cottony and take it out. So that is quite excellent. Both of my screens, unfortunately, though, are now down. Um, his Mind Foo, I was scouting up to see what set it is, uh, because I think I might actually be able to take a high jump kick. Turns out he's the Scarf set, or at least it looks like he's the Scarf set, well, with the U-turn and all. Um, I go ahead and go for the skull, thinking in case he stayed in, maybe I could get the burn, and that would be nice. Anyway, instead I just take out his Solosis. Mind Foo is back out. I'm going to stay in, he's going to go for the U-turn, and I'm racking up damage, but, you know, I'm still doing pretty good. Out's going to come Dwebble, I go for the Thunderbolt, that's going to break his Sturdy and is going to activate his Orin Berry, uh, but I'm thinking, you know, I can take a hit from him, go ahead and go for the Scald. He's going to predict that and go into Frillish, uh, and as you can see, this is not the Water Absorb Frillish, this is one with Cursed Body. Personally, I think Cursed Body is the better move, or sorry, the better uh, ability, because... You know, Frillish and Jellicent are already really bulky and already resist Water-type moves. Anyway, yeah, I have the Heal Bell now! So excellent, it pays off in spades right there because it ends up just being a wasted turn uh, for him. I go for the T-Bolt. Um, it's actually not doing too much. Well, it's, like, it's doing a decent amount. I shouldn't say anything like that. I'm gonna go for the T-Bolt here again, and I managed to take out the Frillish, and that is excellent as I survived on 2 HP. Uh, now it is time for my little angler to die. At least it's going to give me the switch initiative, which is going to be great. Mind food is going to get called back, and out's going to come Dwebble. And so I can decide that at that range of health, you know, his sturdy is broken. I think that Bernie, my Cyndaquil, can sweep through his entire team. So that's one Pokemon down. Bye-bye, Dwebble. And out comes what appears to be Mind Fu. I go for the Eruption. It's going to hit him. And it's going to dip him down to, what, his Sash? I'm like, what the hell is that? And then it's like, oh, okay, it's a Zoro. That makes sense. Um, he went for Counter. I'm pretty sure that was a misclick. Uh, not exactly sure what else that could have been. Um, so down goes that. He's going to go ahead and high jump kick me. Now, again, I know he's Scarf. He's now locked into that. So this is excellent for me. This is game over because I can just send out my Ghastly, and his high jump kicks will miss, he'll crash, and I can KO with a sludge bomb, and that is going to be the game. So, great game, Speed Boost. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks. I love Little Cup so, so much!